this right here is the rear lowering kit for the Tacoma. And we're gonna go ahead and get that installed right now. That is not too bad at all for just the blocks. I can still fit my shoe in there. Well, kinda. Yeah, so not quite there, but looks really good. I'm really happy with that, for the rear at least. We're still waiting on the springs in the front. And once we get those springs in the mail, then we'll go ahead and get those installed. And maybe we'll have an even fit. I'm pretty satisfied with that height. However, I was looking underneath it checking around and it looks like i'm resting right on the bump stops yeah so that big rubber piece right there is the bump stop and that's my axle housing so i am touching it and resting on it so every time i hit a bump it's going to be very bumpy so i'm going to go ahead and trim those up a little bit easy peasy just got those trimmed up so hopefully i'm not hitting on them while i'm riding Still, Still waiting, waiting on parts, parts. parts. and the boredom, 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 the boredom, the boredom can make a man, make a man do awful, awful things, things to his, to his car. car. Things, things he might he regret, might regret. Right, right. Things, that things that involve, involve angle, angle grinders. grinders. Yeah, that's Looks like the package finally came. Get that Damn, no stickers with this one. But the other, um... Oh, there they are. Nice. I swear, I just buy these parts for the stickers. There we go. One, uh, one springy boy going up front.
it. So the Beltec springs are installed in the front and we have the Beltec three inch drop in the back. And um, so basically this is what it looks like if you don't do anything extra. So this is just the blocks in the back and just the springs in the front. All right, so with the rear blocks installed on the rear, you have about maybe inch and a quarter from the fender. And with the Beltec lowering springs, this is the other side right here, on the front, you have just about three inches to the fender. So as you can see, it's really uneven, but what I'm gonna go ahead and do is flip the ball joints around so that, you know, we can probably get it an uh, inch and a half lower, hopefully. This lowering spring in and I had these but like I said these are junk so I just got two new shocks just for the front for now um, but I got some some uh, KYB gas adjust I, don't, I mean I, I've heard a lot of stuff about a lot of shocks for these trucks but I just wanted to give these ones a try and plus I got a really good deal on them so um, yeah shout out to whiskey diesel parts um, for hooking it up but um yeah yeah let's go ahead and throw these in sitting at about three inches so hopefully with the flip ball joint we can go down a little more let's see how it looks sitting at about three inches in here. Let me grab my tape measure. Now we're sitting one and a half wheel defender. Let's check the rear. The rear, it actually it actually made the rear go down lower. So the, the rear is, <laughs> is sitting at about less than one inch and this one's sitting at about um, inch and a half. So 
That's pretty good. I like that a lot. That looks much, much better.